And the Spirit of the Lord moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Get ready for what God is about to say through his choice servant, Apostle S. A. Duke, General Overseer of STBC Worldwide. Experience the move of the Spirit. Experience the Word. I mean, you are tired of the night season. The weeping may last for the night. Some of us don't. It lasts for the night. As long as you are weeping over that situation, it is an evidence you are still in the night. Oh, you are not getting this revelation. Experience the prophetic. Your story must change. I say your story must change. Say, Lord, change my story. Here comes Apostle Essay Duke. I mean, I feel that God is with us. Yeah. He's with us. Emmanuel, God with us. He's always with us, no matter what the circumstances might be. No matter what how it may look like. And the season, the reason for the season is understanding that divinity is with humanity. Amen. And that God desires to be intimate with us as his children. And it's really, it's really with us, no matter what. Amen. It tells us that no matter what he is with us, say God is with us. Tell yourself, God is with me. God is with me. Amen. Allah say, but I know God is up to something this morning. Amen. So the, uh, let's pray. Let's pray. lift up your Bibles. Say in the name of Jesus, Amen. this is my Bible. I believe it's the word of God. I'm about to receive the incorruptible, indestructible, irrefutable word of God. My mind is alert. My heart is receptive. I will be blessed by God's word. In the name of Jesus, come on, shout hallelujah. You may be seated. God is up to something. I know I indicated to the media team today's message was to be divinity with humanity. But just a moment ago, God said, he wants to do something. Amen. So today's message is titled, A Miracle at Midnight. Amen. A miracle at where? Amen. A miracle at midnight. There are many of us that are possibly going through their midnight hour. Many of us that are here today that are watching me by, by the means of the media that are in a need for a miracle. A miracle is something that is beyond the natural. A miracle is something that, that surpasses human understanding and intelligence. A miracle is what God and God alone has the ability to bring to accomplishment. Amen. A miracle is that phenomenon that people are marvel when it happens. And I sense very strongly in my spirit that there is one or two persons in this house today that are in need of a miracle. I may not know who you are, but I know that the God that sent me never lies to me. He told me there is somebody here today in a need of a miracle. And if that is you, I want you to rise up and shout, yeah! There has to be somebody here. Because God brings a revelation to bring about a revolution. 
God reveals to redeem. For God to turn things around in the last minute and telling me, no, son, I know I'm with you, but there's somebody here today that needs a miracle of the midnight. The Bible says that we be, book of Psalms, that we be 30 verse 5, that we be may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. Your miracle is right around the corner. Amen. And I am so glad that you came today for the service. The enemy tried to stop you. The enemy tried to keep you away. But you made it. He couldn't stop you. Because what God has in stock for you is bigger than what the enemy is trying to do in your life. Your midnight hour is not a surprise unto God. Your midnight situation is not a surprise to the king of kings. He knows everything you've been through. He knows what happened to you in the month of January. He knew whatever took place in the month of February. If all the way to the month of November, he knew all of that. Now here comes the month of December for you to celebrate. God knows what is going on with you. But he says, I have kept the best for the last. That the best miracle has been kept for the last moment. So that your celebration can be grandiose in nature. Are you still with me, people of God? Amen. God wants you to celebrate big. Amen. And before this year ends, Amen. I said before this year ends, Amen. by the God of whom I serve, Amen. your miracle must come to pass. Amen. Larika, I said before the end of this year, some of you, you have been expecting this thing to happen. Hallelujah. You have been expecting something to move. Amen. You have been expecting something to shift. Amen. You have been expecting something to take place. Amen. God said, the hour for your miracle has come. Amen. I said, he said, the hour for your miracle has come. Amen. What you have been looking for has already been made prepared for you. He has prepared a miracle for the prepared people. Amen. God knows you have been waiting for this thing so long. Hallelujah. God knows you have been praying so long for this miracle. God knows you have been desiring to see a change in your circumstances. God knows you must not carry over into the new year. Because in the new year when you are crossing over, there shall be no carryovers. Amen. That means today, today, everything must be settled. Amen. Tell your neighbor today, today. Everything, everything must be settled. In the name of Jesus. I decree today, a midnight revival is coming to you. I declare today a friend that stick it closer than a brother is showing up in your life at this midnight hour. I declare today a midnight praise is about to break out in your family. In the midnight hour, things are turning around. Acts chapter 16, verse 15 to 21. Somebody shout a miracle at midnight. Last Sunday of the year 2021, a miracle at midnight. La Keta Ramandu Kasapala. Lord, we thank you. 
Acts 16, Lord, we give you praise. Acts 16. Lord, we magnify your name. La sepule kasapatu. Acts 16, verse uh, 25. Is that what I said? 25. Are you there? Acts 16. Verse 25. To verse 31. Verse 15, brother. And when she was baptized, and her household, she besought them, saying, If ye have judged me to be faithful to the Lord, come into my house and abide there. And she constrained us. Verse 16. And it came to pass, as we went to prayer, a certain damsel possessed with spirit of divination met us, which brought up masters, much gained by such saying. And the same followed Paul and called us and Christ, saying, These men are the servants of the Most High. God, which drew us to world salvation. And this did she do many days. But Paul was grieved, turned aside to the Spirit, and commanded thee in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And he came out of her that same hour. And when our master saw that the hope of making money has gone, they caught Paul and Silas and threw them into the marketplace and unto the rulers and brought them to the magistrate saying, These men being Jews trouble us in our city. And these customs which are not lawful to us to receive neither to observe being Romans. And the multitude rose up together against them. The magistrate sent them, rent off his clothes and commanded Paul and Silas to be beaten. And when they had laid them, many stripes upon them, they cast them into the prison, charging this jailer to keep them safely. When they received such a charge, thrust them into the inner prison and made their feet fast in the stock. Let's stop there for a moment. Now we see the background of this message. These were two men that were doing the right thing and they troubled the enemy's camp. Has it ever happened to you that you are doing the right thing and something bad begins to happen in your life? Not because you are doing something evil, because you are doing something that disturbed the enemy. And the Bible says that Paul and Silas, they cast out the devil from a young girl. And everybody got upset. People get upset when you walk in the supernatural. People always complain when they see a man or woman who is moving by the spirit. It messes up their custom. It messes up their culture and their tradition. Because tradition says, just stay quiet when you come to church. Don't shout, don't dance, don't cast out no devils, don't heal the sick, don't raise the dead. But God says, cast out devils, heal the sick, raise the dead. If they freely have, I give to you, freely must give out. And Paul and Silas, they cast the devil out of this girl. And the whole city was upset. That's why it doesn't bother me when people get upset at me by what we do in this house. They will understand the move of God. They may complain what's happening there. But when God is on the move, somebody must complain. I decree today, all of your complainers will feel sorry for themselves. For what God has called you to do, no man can stop it. And I decree today, the hand of God is upon you to heal the sick, Amen. to cast out devils, Amen. 
to raise the dead in the name of Jesus. And that's what these men were doing. Following the footstep of their master, Jesus. And the Bible says they were cast into prison. Not just the outer prison. They took them to the inner prison. Inner prison. To make sure they have no escape. To make sure they have no way of relief. Maybe you are watching me right now. Maybe not of your own fault. Listen carefully. I've been around for a while. I've come to understand that in life, this happened to us not because of what you did. It could be association. Those you are in contact with. So when things go wrong in your life, don't kill yourself. Don't blame yourself. Just learn from it and move to the next level. But I love what Jesus said. He said, I will be with you even in the fire. Through the wilderness, he will be there with you. But this man were thrown into the prison. Not because they did something bad. But something happened. And know something is about to happen to you. If you believe me, let me hear a loud amen. Amen. That thing that appears to be impossible, God is about to make it possible. Because we serve the God of all impossibilities. There is nothing difficult for the King of Kings to bring to pass in your life. Every state of your fear that is not God ordained is about to respond. To the midnight prayer. Yes. Everything in your life that was planted by the enemy when you were not watching is about to be uprooted in the midnight hour. Yes. And this moment, which is the last Sunday of this year, I call that the midnight hour. Because it's about everything is about to run up in 2021. That thing you are looking for is coming for you. That promotion you are looking for is coming for you. I say that promotion you are looking for is coming for you. That miracle you are looking for is coming for you. Whatever it is that God has promised you today, it will manifest in your life. Yeah. Come on, somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. And the Bible says, very interestingly, in verse 25, at midnight, there's something about midnight. At midnight, not at noonday, not in the evening, when it looks like hope is gone. When it looks like nothing might happen. When it looks like the verdict is against you. Midnight can be so threatening. Midnight can be so on, or, you know, midnight can be so uncertain. There is an uncertainty of the midnight. When things appear to be uncertain, when things appear to be hopeless, when things appear to be looking like there is no way out, that's midnight. But I sense by the God of heaven that somebody in this place under the sound of my voice. Now, I, I, need all the key, I need all the musicians on the stage quickly. Call them out very fast. Somebody, under the sound of my voice. Somebody, under the sound of my voice. Is about to experience a miracle. Yeah. 
Am I talking to you or somebody else? Am, am I talking to you or somebody else? Um, is that for you or for somebody else? Ah! Something is taking place already. I sense it in my spirit. I don't got to talk too much. I got to demonstrate the power of God. Something is boiling in my... Give me the musicians very quickly. Something is taking place. I say something is taking place. I say something is happening. I say something is happening. The Bible says, at where? Midnight. Paul and Silas, they begin to pray. And they begin to sing praises unto God. And the prisoners heard them. Hmm. Open your mouth and shout hallelujah. <laughs> That's right. As they begin to pray and they begin to sing, all that that were with them hurt them. There is no silent singing. There is no silent praising. There is no silent rejoicing. Come on, tell your neighbor, it's about time to open your mouth. And the prisoners were listening to them. And the Bible began to tell us, and suddenly, somebody shout suddenly. You know, I can also sense that the suddenly is about to happen to you. The thing you have been waiting for is going to happen to you. How? Suddenly. That miracle is coming. How? That promotion is coming. How? That healing is coming. How? Somebody shout. I mean, shout. I mean, shout. I mean, shout. It's coming. I said it's coming. I said it's coming. I said it's coming. I said it's coming. He's coming suddenly. 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 In the name of Jesus. And there was a great earthquake. The doors were open. Everyone's chain was loose. Oh, every foundation that was erected to make your building not, not to stand strong is about to fall down. I didn't think you heard me. You have been trying. You have been trying so hard to build. Every time you start to do something, it falls down. Every time you start a project, it collapses. Every time you start to move to another place in your life, everything just falls down. Because the foundation is not right. Every, you cannot build on a foundation of your ancestors that is not solid enough. But today, every wrong foundation is about to be shaken. It's about to be shaken. And a new foundation that you can build on and build your legacy on is about to be erected. Somebody shout hallelujah. And the Bible says, when it was shaking, when it was shaking, when it was shaking, everything, the doors were open. I see doors opening for you. Doors of divine health opening for you. Doors of prosperity opening for you. Doors of promotion opening for you. Doors of longevity opening for you. Somebody shout, suddenly. I go back to verse 25. At midnight, Paul and Silas, at midnight, Paul and Silas, they prayed and they sang. And something happened. In the next five minutes, you're going to rise up. You're going to praise the Lord. And you're going to sing that song, midnight hour. 
you're going to sing. You're going to praise God with all of your heart. You're going to sing with all of your might. You're going to dance with all of your might. And as you are doing that, mountains will be moving. Foundations will be shaking. Disease will be going out of your life. Miracles will be taking place. Come on, rise up, rise up, meet our Sing it for three minutes. Thank you for listening to Apostle Esther Duke. To get more of his messages, send us a DM on all our social media pages. Don't forget to like and share our contents. Do you desire to talk to Apostle? You are also invited to our live service on Facebook this Sunday by 10 a.m. God bless you.